I'm not here to romanticize moving away from the United States to another country. Anywhere you go, you're always gonna take you. This is my personal experience. These are my personal reasons why, and the results may vary. But yes, I really did move from Atlanta, Georgia, a place where they call the Black Mecca and Wakanda to South America and Cartagena, Colombia. And these are my reasons why. My name is Hassan El Sadiq, entrepreneur, filmmaker, and now I'm traveling around the world connecting with people about their dreams. Eating the food with the locals and learning about the Look culture. There. Welcome to my new series, Citizen of the World. As a man evolves, trivial things that used to matter just don't matter anymore. The focus becomes legacy, impact, and contribution. There is no more excuses. The only thing is making your vision a reality. Look, I've been chasing the same life as you my entire adult life, which is the American dream, right? The big house, the two cars, the nice clothes, the fancy jewelry to show that I got it, right? The bad bitch. And then go to the club and pop bottles with more bad bitches. Well, the thing is, living in Atlanta for the past two years, I actually got a taste of that life, right? And not long into living there, I understood that this is not the life that I actually wanted. For 12 years, I've been telling stories and helping people and supporting people achieve dreams. And that's the life that I want to live. For a second, I thought I wanted all of these things, right? But if I buy a Range Rover for $100,000, how much impact can I make with that money in order to support people in their dreams? It just didn't add up to what my mission and my contribution to the world is. It just didn't add up. And the people that I would meet were on that path, the lifestyle path, which is nothing wrong with that. It's just not my path. The things that we were sold about the American dream, it just wasn't real. And that's the number one reason that I moved from Atlanta to Cartagena is because I just wanted something different. Just getting back to the crib from a run. Uh, so I'm talking about the reasons that I moved from Atlanta, Georgia to Cartagena, Colombia. This is a huge reason for me why I left the United States. The violence. The violence is just it's too much, man. As a black man, as a black man, you can get killed by another black man. You can get killed by the police. You can get killed by a scorned woman. You can get killed by a young racist person. That's a that's a that's a mass shooter. You can get killed by an old racist person while you on it while you out on a jog. It, it, and that doesn't even include anything regular on how you can you know something can happen to you a car crash or anything like that. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've never felt safe in the United States. And this is, this is just, I'm just being honest. I've never felt safe in the United States. I've never felt safe in clubs. I never felt safe after clubs. That don't make me soft or no, no type of shit like that. It just is what it is. When you value your life and you want your life protected, and you know, and you wanna protect yourself, 
you got to be on P's and Q's at all times. It's a census when you come, you know, we come from the ghetto. It's, 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 it's a sensor there. It's a sensor there. You always, you always on guard. You never have peace. And I do have peace here. I feel safe. I might pass military people with machine guns. I still feel way more safe here. In my entire life, this is the safest that I have felt. No matter if I was living in a high rise in Buckhead, I, ain't, I didn't feel safe. And, and that's, you know, that's a huge thing for me. Peace, just feeling okay. Not with a sensor of having to be from the, from the hood or act like I'm from the hood and any of that stuff. I can just be a peaceful man that's building a business, that's contributing to the world, helping people, taking care of my family. I don't have to worry about somebody trying to hate on me, do something to me. I don't have to worry about that. And again, I'm not romanticizing being here or leaving the US. This is my experience. This is how I feel. Now, do I leave my door wide open? Absolutely not. Or do I, do I walk with my head in the sky and don't think nothing can happen? Absolutely not. But at the end of the day, I still feel safe. In the United States, guess what? It's the right to bear arms. Everybody got a gun, legal and illegal. People feel that the best way to fight is gun on gun. Okay, somebody's either gonna die or both of us are gonna be harmed very, very bad. The violence in the politics of the United States is my next reason on why I move out of the United States. My next point is the rising prices of the United States. Everything is just so expensive and it's, it's not gonna get better. It's not gonna get better and the system that's put in place in, in, in the United States is exactly how it's been for hundreds of years, right? They want you to buy the house so you can have the 30 year mortgage. They want you to buy the car so you can have the car payment. They want you to get in debt. So therefore, what happens is um, you have to go to work in order to pay for these things that you have bought, right? And now you have just enough money to pay for your life and have a little bit left over that makes you just happy enough in order to say, shit, I'm gonna take my ass back to work because I got this house and I got this car, right? That's just a game that I don't wanna play. I don't wanna play the million dollar game, mansion game, go, look, let's try to get a million dollar house. I don't wanna play that game. I don't wanna play the half a million dollar house. I don't wanna play none of that game. I don't wanna play the Range Rover game. I don't wanna play the, I don't wanna play those games. The food game, we, it's a food crisis. Like, these are the things that's happening in America. And, I just don't want to play those games. Like, I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with, like, again, I, I always say this, but I'm gonna be honest. Eating here, it just, it, it doesn't, it doesn't touch my bank account. Like, I look at my bank account, I'm like, did I even spend any money? Matter of fact, I actually have a lady that comes and cooks for me from Monday to Thursday. She comes and cleans up this place, cooks my meals from Monday to Thursday. Friday through Sunday, I go out, or I might have some leftovers from what she from what she cooked from Thursday from Thursday evening. But 
I would rather just live on a lower scale and be able to put more money into my business, not, not worrying about buying $200 sneakers, not worrying about buying the latest Givenchy, you know, keeping up with everybody else. And again, if that's for you, that's cool. But these are my reasons, my personal reasons why I left America because I just don't want to be involved in it any, anymore. I just don't, I want no piece of it anymore. The rising prices, you do this work just to buy a home, then you have to pay for the home. Now, just say you do get a million dollar home, right? Oh my God, yo, it's crazy. I just caught my dream home. The thing is, it's a 30 year commitment. So therefore, for 30 years, you still have to make the same money that you were making. That's not likely. So for me, it's all the trap. I mean, this place is $1,000 a month, $12,000 a year. I love to make substantial amounts of money, but $12,000 a year, that's not even, like, that's nothing that's gonna hurt me at all. No way, shape, or form. So the rising prices, the inflation, um, the American dream life that has been sold to us, that's the next reason why I fled from the United States. So I want to talk about moving here to Colombia, even on a business standpoint. My company is a apparel company, but it's also a film company, right? So we create, we create content circled around dreamers and we create campaigns for those dreamers. And I didn't want my brand to be a typical New York brand, a typical LA brand or a typical Atlanta brand. I seen a global opportunity when I was moving here for, for my company. Dreams is worldwide. No matter where you go, everybody has a dream. Everybody has something that they're trying to achieve, something that they're trying to, to put into the world. And I looked at things, just say like, like photo shoots, and just giving my brand a, a worldwide feel, like things like this. Like this would be a cool place for a photo shoot. There's so many backdrops here where that has not never been used for for photo shoots for and, and don't get me wrong it's an american company but still like to give it a global feel changes everything and that's what i really wanted to do with all dreams and then also again like i said like with these stories i can create um i can add value to the people here by telling these stories and helping them and supporting their dreams for a lower cause than I would be able to do it in the United States. That, you know, I don't get the support from anyway, right? So, I wanted my brand to have a global feel. As far as the labor, you have people that wanna work. You have people that's excited when I tell them about the brand, right? So, that's just another thing. That's just another thing why I left the United States. I wanted to build a global brand, not just the United States brand. I wanted to build a global brand. So when we do citizen of the world, when we help people across the world, it, it, feels, it feels global. It doesn't feel like just a United States company. So, and that was important to me. Very, very, very important to me. So, I'm just getting back home from doing some uh, location scouting for photo shoots. I wanted to close off this first video about why I moved from Atlanta to Cartagena. Um, so, I, I've given four, four reasons so far. Um, first reason is I wanted something different. I just wanted to change. I wanted something different. I just didn't want to continue with the, the system 
that I've been doing for, you know, all my life, right? So I just wanted something different. Um, number two is the violence, right? The violence has just been, you know, it's been a little bit too much for me, you know, and it's, it's a continual thing, right? It's a continual thing as a black man right now, at my age, really, I'm just, I just want peace. I just want to build my business. I just want to take care of my family. And I just want to live a, a prosperous life, right? So that's number two is the violence in, in, in America. Um, number three is just the, the inflation and the rising prices. Right now, um, it's just way more affordable for me to live here in Colombia and specifically really to to just live on a lower scale and be able to put more money into my business and grow my business that's the you know the main objective and the main the main goal for me so that, that would be my third reason the fourth the fourth thing for me is the opportunity to make my company more global um telling stories here in colombia and um, supporting dreams here in Colombia. We did it in America. We're going to continue to do it in America as well. But now, as we, you know, go to different countries and tell stories and support dreamers, the opportunity to to build a global company is 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 there. And that that was my fourth reason. My fifth reason would be to immerse myself in a complete and different culture right and be able to learn the language and just differ and just, you know be able to diversify myself and grow personally um i'm so used to rap music the hood the ghetto hip-hop and just black culture in general and i want to diversify myself and i want to grow as a man and to immerse myself in a complete whole nother culture, you know, I think that will help me grow. So for right now, I'm gonna end this video because it's getting kind of long, but those are my five first reasons. In this next video, what I'll do is I'll, I'll do another five um, reasons. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. It's not, you know, great storytelling or anything like that. It's just, you know, a talking head, but peace, man. Ten is probably what all, all the guys want to know about, which is the dating, which is for 